Hello, welcome, welcome, welcome. We're going to be doing our first playthrough of the campuses DLC alongside the industries DLC. I never got an opportunity to finish my industries DLC playthrough. I actually lost the save file and then lost all hope in, in my world and life shortly after and never ended up finishing that. Uh, it was kind of a kind of a sad day. Kind of a sad day because I was really looking forward to doing that. So we're back and we're doing it. Uh, and this is what I think a lot of people have been waiting for. So we're going to be doing again the campuses DLC and the industries DLC on this. But first, of course, we've got to create a seed city. You have to have a city to fund and fuel both those DLCs. Can't have students if you don't have population and you can't have workers if you don't have population. So I want these these industries and these DLCs to function properly. Got to build a seed city and rather than just build a little grid off in the corner of the map, I figured I'd do something fun, make a little city and uh, make a video so that we could at least talk about what's coming up. Uh, again, you know, if you were looking for campuses specifically, I just want to clarify this video specifically is not going to have any of the campuses DLC yet. Just building the seed city today. So if you were only looking for that and not looking to see what's behind the scenes with making that run, then you can feel free to skip this video. Otherwise, stay tuned here because I'm going to talk a little bit about optimization, a little bit about what we're using here because I did get some very cool assets from the Steam Workshop. I'll go ahead and list those down below. But this coal power plant looked really awesome. I, I just absolutely had to use it. Those water treatment pools looked really awesome had to use them of course parking lots are awesome gotta have the parking lots mod i think everybody on earth has this one nowadays or if you don't you should it's really handy uh the only problem i have with it is if you don't have traffic manager president edition then a lot of times people won't park there and i chose not to use that on this playthrough so i might have to turn it on just to fill out the parking lot um but that, I'm, I'm trying to avoid using it. I'm honestly trying to avoid using as many things as possible. But because this was such a cool asset, I needed to detail it just a little bit, just to give it some flavor, do it a little bit of justice, because whoever made this did a wonderful job. So there you go. There's that. Obviously, before you have any residential population, you've got to have water, you got to have sewer, you got to have power. Three basic starts for all cities. So that's why I chose to start with the industrial area. This whole area is eventually going to be the industrial area. I got these really cool intersections off the workshop as well. Chose to put them to use in this video. Um, and then over on this side, I was going to do the residential section over on this side. There's the huge area. It's open. It's wide. And generally, your residential sprawl is much larger than your commercial and your industrial area. So I wanted to give myself lots of space to work with when it came for time for expansion. Now, what I just did there was kind of a cool trick for, for working those junctions. Um, if you're having difficulty getting a road perfectly placed down the middle between the two, you can go ahead and scroll back and look at exactly how I did that. Kind of a, a cool little trick. Uh, but... I also wanted to provide a second entrance for traffic. And you may notice that I'm putting a huge emphasis that on that here today. Traffic is a nightmare in this game. And if you don't deal with it properly, especially early on, you're going to face issues down the road. And that's one of the reasons I have infinite money on when I'm starting this out. Generally, I run the 1 million money start mod, but I just didn't want to have any issues. I chose to go infinite money. This city is going to be very large. Uh, I didn't want to waste a lot of time building it in sections, waiting for it to grow. So I decided to build a massive city all at once. Also, so I could get a nice time lapse for the end of this video and show the whole thing being grown. Uh, I haven't seen anybody do that for like a whole city before. So I was like, eh, let's, let's try it out. Uh, so we're on to the commercial area now. As far as the industrial area was concerned, we had a lot of blocks that were pretty small in the commercial area we're gonna have slightly bigger blocks and in the residential area we're gonna have even larger blocks and one of the reasons for that is traffic you want to have fewer intersections in an area that has lower traffic 
Whereas in the industrial section, I know a lot of people are going to eat me up over that one. Hear me out. <laughs> in the industrial section, while you do want more intersections, that's just simply to break up the traffic flow. You also don't want them very close together. So that's very important. You want to have your industrial area spread out enough that you can have a lot of intersections, but not very close together. And that's so you can optimize that traffic flow. I, I won't bother going into why you guys could probably figure it out. If you can't, there's like, oh, that's like a 20 minute talk <laughs> a minimum. And I'm not a, a expert on traffic. I'm not an engineer or anything like that. Just a, a poor Twitch streamer. So over here, I decided to work on the first residential section. You'll notice that I do the major roads first and then fill from the outside in on all these. I think that creates a little variance in each and every neighborhood because no two are going to be exactly alike. And when you're working off the curves of these major roads, it creates so many opportunities for just something a little unique. And you know, it breaks up that grid pattern and creates sort of that neighborhood-esque feel. So it was very important to me that we make something that's at least fun to look at here today, not just one big block city with all high, high density residential. Although in the next video, we most likely are gonna have to flush this city out a bit more. We'll probably do it in a speed build as well, just to get these knocked out. And then in the third video, probably start diving into the first campuses stuff, uh, or possibly industries. I'm not sure, I'm not sure. Tell me, tell me in the comments which one you wanna see first. Uh, we still got, we still got like a week. So you got like a week to tell me. So over here on this side, we've got our major intersections set up. We've got all of our intermittent intersections far away from major junctions. You notice the highway. I'm not connecting the roads up all the way over there. We're putting all our services in our schools, our fire departments, our trash pickup, our police, our medical getting all that stuff laid out the fire or excuse me the water <laughs> water tops fire uh we also decided to put that little road in behind the commercial area to sort of bridge the gap from the residential to the industrial so people had two or three different options for how they want to get over to the industrial side they can take the highway they can take the major avenue they can take the back road or they can go through the commercial district so there's actually four different options now for people to get around over to the other side. And that's important. You wanna provide a lot of different choices for people to take different routes, uh, which is again, one of the reasons that a lot of intersections are important in industrial areas. See where I'm going with that? You wanna have them, but they gotta be spread out. So this massive city, is all coming together here. We've got good layout for public transport, wide open spaces for schools, parks, plazas. Um, we're gonna be able to cover all those down. Uh, move it tool is really handy, but you notice I don't use it a whole lot and a lot of it could be just dealt with a different way. Um, but these spaces kind of create themselves as we go through this. And uh, I think it came out to be a pretty nice design. So between this video and the next, we're gonna let the time lapse. We're gonna let this turn a profit, try to make some money off this city and then shut money off, shut infinite money off once we're in the green. I wanna play this without infinite money. So in the next video, that's what we'll be doing. Uh, we're gonna focus on the other major metro area. And if you guys enjoyed this video and you're looking forward to more content, hit that subscribe button, follow me over on Twitch. You can see all my social media down below, Twitter, YouTube, Oh, wait, this is YouTube, Twitch, Instagram. Like, they're all down there. I, I don't even know where I am today. Jeez. Anyway, here's the time lapse. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you all enjoy.